Why did I leave? Why did I leave Denmark and my family? I guess I needed to be on my own. I guess I had to know who I was or who I am. It might be I've been searching my whole life. I have had, you can say, some black periods. And I had decided to meet people who I knew had conquered their pain and survived. I wanted to ask people about love. And I wanted to ask people about hate and reconciliation. I had three appointments on a journey which would take me to three continents. I arrived in Cape Town in the evening of September the 10th, 2001, and I was picked up by my guide. As we drove through Cape Town that night, little did we know how the events the following day in New York would affect almost every human being in the world. And little did I know how this would affect the scope of my film and the range of appointments That's in my okay. notebook. That would be nice. Uh, Jet, you, I think it seems very crazy, but you have to give me 50 rand because... Yeah, but it's not... I don't like you. This act of terrorism cannot pass without the strongest condemnation from all the civilized world. And we, particularly in South Africa, a nation who has struggled for many years under darkness against evil, cannot allow our victory now to be undermined in any kind of divisive way. Some words from the writing of Archbishop Desmond Tutu Goodness is stronger than evil. Love is stronger than hate. Light is stronger than darkness. Life is stronger than death. Our Father, who art in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. Amen. I just hope nobody decides to go to war, but it looks like America is preparing to go to war and uh, has already set up. Well, Jetty was my guide in the black townships. It looks quite poor, this. It had been a long time since a stranger had opened his world to me and asked me to join in. Uh, it's not really that they are poor, but yeah, it's low class, I can say so. Um, three people used to live in one room. I can say three families for one room. Yeah, so now the government is changing that, is making a proper place, as you can see those flats on the first left hand side. We've been rebellious and angry before. You have? Yeah. And uh, compared to that time, I couldn't have been driving around now with a white person. A white person was my enemy. So whether you right or wrong, but I don't think of them. Like if you white, I use we used to recognize um, the enemy by the color of the skin. And we had a slogan saying, who is the enemy? And then we replied saying, the white man.
each one of us has the capacity to commit the most ghastly evil. Each one of us. I mean, we, we are fortunate, some of us, that uh, we don't, in fact, get exposed to situations where we would, uh, in fact, carry out some of the most dastardly things. Because the people who tortured, uh, the people who killed others gruesomely, didn't have horns on their heads, they didn't have tails. They are, they are human beings like you and me. Uh, and frequently, they were, it was people who go to church, people who are respectable. So the commission showed, hey, human beings have an extraordinary capacity for evil. That's one side. But it also showed wonderfully, wonderfully, that human beings have an extraordinary capacity for good. I don't know, man. But the reconciliation happening now in South Africa, it's not the type of uh, reconciliation. I hope it will happen. This is not the kind of thing we're fighting for. Like now, it seems as if we must apologize to the white people or we must be apologetic or something. How do we regard hate? Hate. Hate is a very strong negative emotion. And I think hate is something that's mostly on the spur of the moment. And it's, um, you know, it's just, it's very negative and it's, it's you can break someone down and, you, and it breaks yourself down. You also make prizes. You have seen me that I like meat. Yeah, I'm... Mm, looks good. We're going to eat something. I'm ready to have a taste. Do you want to? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, those lords. Oh, I've got a vibe time. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's going mm. to be a vibe. Oh, that is talking. Never. And never. Ah, see, I see tattoo and a vibe. Me? Yeah, come at time. What? What did um, you say? He's, um... Traditional healer, okay. and then he can see through you what's your problem. Oh. He says, my, my problem is my husband. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. He said that. Oh, wow. Come on. A two line man. Wow. Long fans. Look. Into that. He like fear. It's not up to date as before. The life is not as good as before. Sometimes, when you're reflected in the eyes of other people, you get much closer to know who you are. Although I felt I wanted to go back, I had to continue and keep away my demons. Demons which tried to stop me. Jaja gave me the possibility to be confronted with both pain and survival. I feel, I feel uh, it's, it's a little bit embarrassing, you know, taking pictures of people in this way, maybe. But in the townships, everybody likes to, to, to be uh, smiling, kids in front of you, say. Yeah. Okay, this is a place that's a oh. name there. Wow. Easy work. Easy work. So dark in here. Now. Have to see, get some more light. What's what do we wrong? Can hardly see the picture. Why does it work now? <laughs> Look, the white and you know this is just not doesn't work now. Yeah. What in hell is wrong? 
Hey, bud. This is the fifth time I've been doing that. <laughs> Don't tell me I do that all the time. <laughs> okay. Hello. This is a notebook for a documentary. I've been making. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm from Denmark. And here we teach people tolerance. People are here for the addiction and not so much because you white, black, Christian, Jew. The program is not based so much um, on the drug but on behavior. If you look at drugs, you can take somebody and lock him up for a month. He'd be without drugs, yes. But when he comes back, what makes him go back to use it? So what we're saying is in order for you to eradicate the drug from you need to eradicate the lifestyle that goes with it. Um, well that would be subculture, it would be old references, people that you hang out with, places where you hang out with. Yeah. So we, we work a lot on behavior. How do you look at love? Excuse me? Love, how would you define love? Love, I never, could, I always push love the way. I always, the only thing that I knew was how to eat. And uh, love was not, never part of me. I was actually afraid of love to become, be, a, be part of love because um, deep inside I was like uh, very sensitive, right? And uh, the drugs was, was a cover up to so not to feel that because I get hurt a lot uh, and I just knew how to eat. No, I don't. So it was my my I can, my strong point to eat. A lot of people are coming here with broken hearts and broken dreams, you know. So it's not so much a drug, like I said. How do you look at love? Uh, <laughs> well, I could go into the hole. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a funny question. Um, I think love is important. If we honestly had sincere love or love as we should be practiced, then um, I think we'll have less addicts. You know, we'll have less wars, we'll have less poverty and all the rest that go with it. But I think it's because it's a lack of it that all these um, things are hitting us. So stupid question about love, <laughs> things like that. Yeah, but you know, you know what I meant. You know. Yeah. What would you say about love? Ah, uh, love means lots of things. Yeah, I do have love for my country. I do have love for my people. But uh, my only problem for now in this stage, I don't have. What can I say? Love for a relationship. No, I don't have. I just have girls who I sleep around with. That's what I can say. I used to have love before, but uh, yeah, I got lots of disappointment and then that bothered me so much. Yeah, so that's my girlfriend there. Wow. Uh, yeah, that's my, I can say it's my number four, but she mustn't know that. <laughs> it's ah. the only thing I do when I eat it. Okay. And now she's, <laughs> she's, wow. she's shy.